G'day ZikiD here and welcome back for part 26 of the Path of Exile Survival Guide. Now in the last episode you might recall that I did some farming with Amy and we found, well, I found a Tabula Rasa. Now uh, this is a, a pretty decent, pretty liquid sort of drop, something you can sell quite easily. I did a little bit of research and found out through uh, various people selling them and things like that, that they were going for about 1.5 to 2 exalts on dom in Domination League. Now I ended up bro dealing it out to one of my my subscribers and you'll see that footage on screen of that trade and I just ended it up bro dealing it out for one exalt because I like to go for a uh, fast quick sale to whoever gets in first and uh, I don't mind uh, cutting a bit of currency off the top there. So we now have, coming back over to the game, one exalt on this character. This is the first amount of substantial currency we've had on this character. Now I do have a pretty long list of things that this character wants that we could get. We could just split it up into chaos and try and uh, get like a bunch of different little upgrades, but I'm not a fan of that. We're doing okay in terms of like our gen gen generic sort of gear. I think what's going to be better off is doing things like getting support gems we need and or depending on how we go. Uh, also getting a 5 link chest, that's a nice big step in terms of our DPS. Now we should be able to do that pretty cheaply, you can get a you can get a 5 link chest, like a really low level one, for a couple chaos, easily. And uh, But we can maybe try and get a better one, we'll see how we go. So, let's. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to poe.xyz.is, and this is a trading website, it allows you to search the forums much more easily and uh, I could do this through the general trade chat. You've seen me do things through trade chat. I tend to leave trade chat for things that are kind of faster and simpler, like I want to buy a support gem, I'm offering a chaos for it, and you get a nice easy quick sale. But when you're trying to uh, compare some sales and trying to get something a little bit more complicated, like I'm trying to get like a five link chest or something like that, probably a bit easier to actually use this site. And since this is the Path of Exile Survival Guide, I want to show off as many different things, as many different tools as possible for you guys to uh, learn to use so that you can use to your own benefit. So let's switch on over. Alright, so as you can see here, we have poe.xyz.is. I'll link this in the description below. I'll try and remember to do that. Now, as I said, we kind of want some support gems, and I'm actually pretty interested in the brand new support gem to patch 1.0.3 that came out recently, uh, Physical Projectile Attack Damage. And uh, this is going to work super well in this build, and I'll eventually update the build guide to include it as well. But uh, it basically buffs the physical damage that your projectile attacks do. So I think it's definitely a good candidate for this. So we could start shopping for those, but something that I also want first to be able to use that, I want a 5-link chest. I could go for a 5-link bow, but the, the reason I go for a 5 link chest over a 5 link bow is we're going to want to upgrade our bow more frequently than our chest. If we get an okay-ish 5 link chest, we can wear that for a long time, a very long time, until we find like a really nice 5 link chest or a, even a 6 link chest. But if we get a 5 link bow, we're probably going to have to upgrade it in like 5 or 10 levels to keep our damage up. So try to stay away from getting your first sort of 5 link or 6 link on your actual weapon, unless it's an awesome weapon and game weapon that you're going to keep using. So, let's go ahead and search for chests. Now, as I said, I'll link this in the description below, but basically I'm just going to go to find the ch uh, find a chest for this. I'm just going to go to body armor, and I'm going to go to links minimum 5. Now I can switch between switch back to the game here, and see my character is level 54. So let's go switch back over here. We want to put in, we could, we could go a little bit higher than that. I'll just put in a, a max level of 55 there. Now if you wanted to go for a certain type of chest, we could type into here, but I actually really don't care. Like, if we get an armor evasion, or an armor shield, or an evasion shield, or... Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't go for a pure energy shield, but if we get any other combination of armor and evasion and something else, then I'm pretty happy. So we'll just leave those as is for now. And what I'm going to look for in the explicit mod, so explicit are uh, your magical modifiers, I'm going to look for pseudo resistances, which just means this item will have some form of resistances on it. So we're going to get that in, we're going to go to add mod, and I'm going to also look for uh, max life as well. If I get a life and resist chest, I'm going to be pretty happy. So let's go ahead and we'll... we'll uh, Usually, if you, if you want to search for prices, we'll put things on buyout only and just see what prices things go for. But uh, we're just going to look for who's online first. And maybe we'll even go buyout only and see if there's anyone online that uh, also has a chest for sale. So we have some very expensive ones here. Overpriced, I would say. Like, Actually, that's a pretty nice 5 link chest, so that's probably... It seems kind of overpriced to me, but I'm not too familiar with domination pricing. Uh, 20 Chaos is much more reasonable. We've got very low life roll. It's got try resist, but it's 
a pretty average chest overall, but 20 chaos might be a little bit steep. We've got our one exalt for a 5 link with uh, 50 life and some resists, and 4 chaos here for 50 life. This one here is actually a pretty nice bargain. This is, would be a nice candidate just to get an easy 5 link. How much armor does this have? Evasion, 200. Uh, we, could, we could definitely use this. This is something we could definitely use. Uh, the only issue with this sort of chest is that we potentially want... We potentially want how many... Let's take a look at our current link setup and uh, see what we'd want. So I'd probably want on my uh, on my 5 link, which would be Lightning Arrow. I'd want Lightning Arrow, lesser multiple projectiles, uh, Pierce or Chain. Uh, I could potentially drop Life Gain on hit once I get melee physical damage. So maybe we're looking at 2 red and the rest green. Actually, that's, that's not too bad. That is possibly achievable. We could go 2 red and 3 green. Uh, that's that's not too, getting too off color on this sort of chest. Uh, we'll take a, quite a few chromatics, but definitely not impossible. And we could always use another support gem until we get that sorted out. So that one's a possibility. Otherwise, armor's always pretty easy. We can get red and green on that pretty easily. Uh, armor evasion or evasion would be nice and easy as well. I think any of these are going to be an alright choice, but the uh, the Cataclysm Carapace here is super cheap. Now, the issue f for this is it's 4 Chaos, and currently our situation in terms of currency is I have 1 Chaos and an Exalt. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is actually th consider splitting up this Exalt. Now, generally, if you have an Exalt, it's a good idea to hang on to that, because Exalts retain the value or even grow in value over time, whereas Chaos tend to, compared to Exalts, they tend to lose their value over time. So in, at the beginning of a League, an Exalt... Exalt is, might be something like 20 Chaos, and then towards the end of the league it might be something like 30 Chaos, maybe 26, 25, something like that, depends on that. I think in, uh, I don't know what they are in Domination, I'm assuming it's something like 26, maybe a little bit higher. So uh, what we're going to do is find out a, find out a price for that, and uh, try and try and sell off our Exalt for some Chaos, because it's going to be easier for us to break up and trade with. So I'll engage in that, what I'm going to do is just join trade chats here, and I'm going to be, uh, want to sell... Exalt for Chaos PST, which just means please send tell offers. And I'll do this in a few trade chats and see if I get any bites this way. Otherwise, we're going to have to try and ask around and see if we can find out an appropriate uh, trade value and then maybe trade a little bit under that to uh, get it. Here we go. Want to buy Exalted Orbs 1 to 29 Chaos and Eve 3. Here we go. Let's go to this guy. Want to sell Exalted Orb. Nice and easy. Replies suppressed in DD. I'm going to have to take myself off DD. There we go. But uh, we can uh, we can message this guy. Looks like he's invited us there, so we'll give. He's, he's going to give us twenty nine chaos. chaos. Uh, that seems pretty reasonable to me. That seems quite high compared to what I'm used to in Nemesis. But then again, not too familiar. If I get ripped off a little bit, that's okay. I just want some uh, nice, nice, easy trades, and that was about as easy as it comes. I got. I saw that guy going through trade chat in about a few seconds. So pretty good stuff. These are the guys here with twenty eight chaos orbs. So uh, this guy's giving us a pretty good deal here for twenty nine chaos. And we're gonna thank thank you very much. Good luck, have fun. There we go, cool. All right, we got our chaos. That was nice and easy. Let's jump out of trade chat here. Now this is a little bit different, obviously, to uh, some of our previous episodes where we're doing doing gameplay. But trading is a big part of Path of Exile, and I actually really enjoy trading myself. And hopefully, you guys enjoy this little bit of insight. Okay, so now we have all of our chaos. Now we have we have thirty chaos. So. Uh, the support gem we're looking at is probably going to be like 2 or 3 chaos, it's a new support gem, so it might be a little bit more, but uh, we can, should try and keep a bit aside for that. I'd actually like to get 2 of those, so maybe 4 to 6 chaos should get us those. I'm, hope, I'm hoping I can get some for 2 chaos. 3 chaos seems a little bit higher there. But uh, if we get the 20, the 20 chaos chest, we could potentially do that. However, as I said, the life rolls on this is really low. We're getting a good mix of resists, but all of these rolls are pretty low. And uh, if I did buy this chest, to be honest, I'd consider re-rolling it myself, because it's really not that great. Like, I could craft a better blue chest than this. I could craft a chest with 80 life and 30 or 40 resists. Pretty, pretty reasonably easy with some alteration orbs and augmentation orbs. So uh, I tend to, tend to not... Try not to get too uh, distracted by the fact that this is a try-resist chest. Whoa, try-resist. And when it's actually not really that good. So then what would be the best deal for us? We have uh, this 4 Chaos one, I think, is just too big a bargain to pass up. I'm going to be able to wear this, and uh, let's just verify that it's still for sale. It is verified, and uh, hopefully this guy's still online. We'll see if we can get a sale for this. So this is named Cataclysm Carapace Lacquered Garb. So let's send this guy a message. 
All right, looks like we've got a trade here. I'll uh, make sure I split up my four chaos. This is uh, this is a pretty big, pretty pretty decent bargain. This seems like a pretty decent trade to me. Uh, I would spend uh, upwards of ten chaos maybe to get your five link if you can get a decent one with like a nice life and resist roll on it. It'd be worth doing. But let's, let's see if he's got this chest here. There we go. Good stuff. So it's not amazing for us, you know, it's got intelligence mana, which aren't useful for us, but it's got some life and resist, and we can re-roll that a little bit later, so thank you very much. And uh, I have to say, at that price, it was a pretty good bargain. So we're going to want to consider re-rolling the uh, links on that once we get our support gems, we're going to try and figure out uh, what exactly we need. We've got a few chromatics, so hopefully we don't have to buy any extra chromatics. So my next step then is going to be to buy this support gem. Now, since I'm already using some PoE XYZ action, I, sh I can probably go ahead and do the same thing on here. So to do this, I'm just going to go any, we're going to remove any of this jazz, remove any of this stuff, remove all this. And uh, then we're just going to type in uh, physical projectile. There it is. And uh, let's search for people that are online and see what we've got here. Actually, we should try and find out a price first. These people don't have prices, so let's go offline, uh, offline as well, and we'll see who's got buyouts listed. Now we've got people asking an ALK, we've got people asking 7 and 8 chaos, which is ridiculous. 1 chaos, I think if we offer 2 chaos, anyone's probably going to trade with us. 3 chaos, 3 chaos seems to be much more reasonable to me. I think we can probably offer some people's 2 chaos and get it pretty easily. I think uh, it's been quite a few days since this launch, so I think we should be able to get it pretty easy. And two, more than 2 chaos for a support gem that's like a cruel level support gem seems uh, a little bit excessive to me. So we're going to search for online only. Now we want 2 of these, so I'm going to have to find 2 people. We have... Just verify all these, make sure they're all there. We have three options, cool. We should be able to get two out of three. However, this one here I just realized is quality, so we're not going to buy this. This is probably going to be like an exalt or something. So what we're going to do then is uh, contact these fellas and see if we can get these support gems. All right, we've got to trade. This guy's totally screwing us. <laughs> but I want to get it now in... Uh in order to progress the video action, so I should probably wait for someone who's willing to sell for two or maybe three. This guy's destroying us for four chaos here. So, <laughs> that's unfortunate, but uh, we get to continue on. So let's go again and get, get rid of this guy from the party here. I, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like four chaos is way too high for that for a support gem, the cruel level support gem. Feels very, very excessive, but we have the gem now. We can continue on with our video making. So, what do we want? I was actually wrong. I, for some reason, I thought this was a red gem before. So what we want is... Uh, we want... We do want Pierce. Eventually, we're going to try... Maybe we should try and get a Chain at some point soon as well. Though, I tend to think Chain is better used uh, once your DPS gets a little bit higher. Our bow at the moment for our level is still pretty good, so hmm, we have some potential there. Okay, so we've got four green and one red. This should be very easy to roll in this chest, since uh, the only off-color we're getting then is red. However, because it is an energy shield chest as well, we might end up getting a few sneaky blues in there. So we managed to get two blues and a red. We want all greens and red on the five link. It's my name. Oh, all greens and a blue. Come on, we want a red on that. This actually might be a little bit tricky. I might be wrong. There's uh, all greens and a blue there. I don't think there's any blue support gems we'd want to use. So the five link's no good if we can't actually get the colors we want. Two red, come on! <laughs> we might have to end up... Oh, there's a blue in there. The blue snuck itself in again. Oh, getting brutalized here. Come on, RNGs, please! <laughs> uh, oh, all right, well, that didn't quite work out so far yet. We're going to have to get some more uh, chromatic orbs. So I can check PoE XYZ for chromatic orbs as well. We can just go remove everything from all these fields and then go to base. No, we don't want base. We want other currency. And then we can go to chromatic. And we're going to look, look for ones with buyout and online. Not many people list currency, but I uh, usually get some people. This guy wants to sell them for jewelers orbs. Uh, I'm more interested in trading chaos for them. I don't have very many jewelers orbs, but uh, maybe this guy would be willing to trade some chaos. We can ask what his rates for chaos to chromatics are. Oh, it looks like this guy's not online, so I'm going to have to hit up Trade Chat then, I think. Alright, I have uh, an offer for 16 Chrome for uh, Chaos here. 
16 chrome for 1 chaos. I have no idea if that's a decent ratio in domination. Sometimes you just kind of have to do these things and then later find out you get ripped off or that you got a good deal and be like, ah, there we go, I learned. So uh, this guy's coming in. We'll get, I'm going to get 32 and hopefully that'll be enough to uh, get what we want on our chest. If not, I'm probably just going to make do with what we got for a while. Maybe he's like added lightning or something. Oops, I almost accidentally kicked him. All right. Let's have our 32 chromatics. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. Wish me luck. <laughs> Alrighty, let's give the, give this a go. Good. He does he does know our series. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh. All right. We're gonna try try and let's let's try and get these rolls happening. So, all green, one red on the five link. This uh, might end up being a much more expensive chest than otherwise could have got. So worth considering in the total purchase price is whether you have to do things like this, whether you have to re-roll them. There's a, there's a blue, that's unfortunate. Uh, what's this guy asking us? Cast on crit rangers can finally ask, cast on crit. Ah, uh, uh, Stormcall? Now that gems have leveled. Ah, very nice. Look at that. Okay, let's try and level this now. Uh, level this. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Uh, come on. Oh, the troll blue is getting me. I see all green. I get excited there. Well, it looks like we're blowing through our chromatics here. Oh, not happening. Maybe I should should just ditch the red completely and go for uh, another another damage support or something like that. Now, we have one blue now. What's this give us? This gives us uh, projectile physical attack damage. I'm pretty sure pierces. Pierce isn't actually mandatory. It is definitely helpful. But uh, let's... Check out how this feels, maybe. And uh, skills added. I don't think I even have added lightning. Hmm. All right, last try here. We've got another 16 chromes. Reasonably tough, yeah. It's a bit tougher than I was expecting with this one here. I would settle for all green. I, I guess might be a, might be more frugal of me to just go with this for now. And uh, life, removing life gain on hit is pretty hurtful. We kind of want that red. Uh, evasion armor would be a much more sensible purchase for this. I should probably just buy the bullet and buy another 5 link and just sell this later. Because uh, trying to roll the red on this is just way too hard with the amount of blues and things like that. This is a very strongly leaning chest towards greens and blues. So there you go. Every, every now and then... Even myself, I make mistakes, you know, trading is all about this. We've now learned a lesson, and it only cost us about four or five or six or so chaos. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. I'll try and get a different chest, me thinks. Alright, search for an armor evasion chest. What I'm going to do is just put one in armor and one in evasion. And we're going to look for 5 link and we were level 45. Let's go to like level 48 in case we can grow into one. I'm, I'm doing okay with the 4 link we have for now. And uh, we'll go for... We'll just, we'll just search for one and see what comes up. And we can either re-roll it ourselves. Maybe that might actually be easier. Belly of the Beast, full worm scales. I wonder how much those go for. But uh... <laughs> That'd be a, that'd be an alright choice. We have a fair bit of max life on other ones, but I, I have no idea what these actually sell for. We could Ooh. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it anyway. Current offer five chaos. Alrighty. Eventually, there we go. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Did uh, not the smoothest trades I've ever done, that's for sure. But we've got one now and it's a white, so we can craft it ourselves, which is a bit of added fun, I would say. So uh, it's actually, it has the potential to be an upgrade from our current one. We've got the Commander's Brigadine, Commander's Brig Brigadine. You know, it could be it could be about the same in terms of stats. If it's about the same, it's going to be a decent upgrade, and we can use it for quite a while because it's a 5-link. I, I accidentally searched, like, level 48 once before I realized I'm actually level 50-something. So that was a bit of a mistake as well. But uh, there we go. I don't know what that guy's asking me, but here we go. So uh, let's try and craft this one. It says current offer is 5 Chaos. Ah, that's right. I inquired about that one. Uh, sorry, found one already. Thanks. All right, let's try and get some life and resist happening, and then I'll be happy. There's some resist, but no life. Let's go for some rolls. There's a 35 life, 32 cold rolls. Pretty average. The life is pretty low. The cold is okay. What's our resist looking like at the moment? I actually need to go to uh, Cruel to find out for, for sure, because there's the different resistance amounts. But uh, hopefully that'll be it for the trading today. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, a little, little bit, a little bit rocky, but we we got there in the end. So what's our resists looking like? We, we've got capped cold fire. Uh, we could switch around. Could we switch around cold pretty easily? Probably not, to be honest. Cold's kind of on our things that we're not going to switch out at all. So we've got we've got some on the gloves. We've got some on that. Looks like we've got some on the helmet. So I'm probably going to re-roll this as well because the life is quite roll, quite quite low. Whoa, four armor. Getting excited there. It's pretty high armor roll, but not good enough. Extra armor, extra nothing, 19 life, oh man. 12 life, what are these low life rolls? Oh, and then a low resist roll, 64 life, 7 lightning resist. We're going to uh, lose, uh, we're going to lose some cold resist actually, so, oh, maybe we should have kept that cold resist roll. I didn't realize I had cold on the chest. But uh, lightning brings us up a little bit more, and lightning is going to be more important moving forwards. In fact, we're going to fight Dominus, and there's like virtual. The only cold in there is the kind of like leapfrog things that shoot uh, cold things at you, <laughs> cold spells at you. So uh, I could potentially get get away with pretty low cold resist for now. Let's go ahead and wear this for now. I feel like we've spent enough currency for today. Let's see if we can try and get some actual rolls on here. So there's not two. We could potentially use added fire on our five link, but uh, we'd have to sacrifice something else. I think we'll try. We'll try and go for the. The green and red. Oh, there's two red. We just need one red. One red. Oh, no, no, come on. All right, we're going to have to get some more chromatics. going to have to try and source some more chromatics here. Actually, I lie. I can probably do without life gain on hit for now. What I'm going to do is use faster attacks. Faster attacks is a very nice support gem. Uh, lightning arrow, multiple projectiles. Physical projectile attack damage and pierce. And, uh... <sighs> All right, let's give this a go. Now what we need to do is actually... Uh, substitute this out for here, so there's gonna have to be a little bit of working out kind of shifting around Now the reason I'm putting so much effort into shifting everything around is we are going to fight Dominus in Act 3 Cruel You know assuming I'm trying to play this like I'd be playing hardcore uh, This is a quite a big hurdle to get past so getting a little bit extra set up is uh, certainly gonna be beneficial for us So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do here with our single target We obviously don't have any more chromatics to spend at the moment So we're just gonna have to do whatever we can do so that might mean simply dropping added fire for now Going faster attacks, frenzy, and we could go faster projectiles. What else could we go? There's, I don't think that we have any other supports that would work well with it. I think then we're just going to have to sacrifice the uh, fire damage for now. Put this on here. We can keep leveling up the fire damage in there. That's just on molten shell. That's not going to do anything to it. And uh, we can just run fast projectiles in here for a slight damage increase now. We lost added fire. We just lost a bit of damage on our single target, but uh, gained a fair bit soon, especially once we level up this gem a little bit more. So this does less projectile attack speed. We're countering this out with faster attack, but the extra damage we're doing for that is really good. It's also going to synergize nicely with Life Leech. This is physical attack damage. Leech does life, so hitting harder is going to give us more... Hitting harder for physical, especially, which is what this is doing, is going to give us more Life Leech. So hopefully the Life Leech should work pretty well on that AoE now. And it cost us 31. We should be able to do enough damage to counteract that, but it's going to require just a little bit of testing, and I'll see how it goes. I'll keep this chest aside, because it was pretty nice. And we now also have this one as well to uh, either hold on to for another character or to sell. Uh, maybe I can recoup some of my losses a little bit later on. So with that out of the way, I'm going to do a test run in Lunaris Temple and see how my new setup goes before I uh, head on into doing a little bit more progression. Well, it looks like our damage is pretty solid. I'm hitting very hard, actually. As you can see, like, you know, killing these guys in two, maybe three shots, depending on how big the group is. And uh, also leeching pretty substantially well as well. Like, uh, not quite as... Because it's not as, not as instant as life gain on hit, and not quite as much as I was with life gain on hit, but it's definitely still like I'm gaining a lot of life every time I attack. So I think this is actually pretty livable and probably an improvement in terms of DPS. Well, definitely an improvement in terms of DPS, and uh, well worth the trade-off in that life there. But uh, otherwise, you know, we could always consider easily just changing back to our other chest if we decided that this wasn't quite right for the Dominus fight, especially if we needed more life leech. But we can we can try that out. We can take these things with us as well and test these things out. But uh, I feel like this will be I feel like this will work pretty well. All right, so we'll go jump into Imperial Gardens then, and uh, what we'll do is we'll go do the uh, Hedge Maze side quest actually for Fairgraves because we'll get another support gem from there. It'll be interesting to see what we get. Who knows, maybe we can... I haven't actually looked up what the support... what the uh, the rewards are for that. By the way, if you want to know... ever want to know what quest rewards are for, like, you know, certain quests, whether it's worthwhile doing them or not, you can actually just go to the Path of Exile wiki, and uh, even just googling Path of Exile wiki uh, quest rewards will bring up a page full of the all of the quest rewards for all the classes. And you can simply check 
uh, the rewards for each quest and what you get for depending on which class you are. So we'd be able to find out whether this is worthwhile doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. It gives me a chance to sort of get reaffirmed with my new uh, gear setup and everything like that. And uh, which so far is, seems to be feeling pretty well. We have our, our Jade Flask there I should be using against these guys. Yeah, not healing quite as fast as we were with Life Gain on hit, but I think it's probably probably worthwhile. We'll see how we go. Might not have been the most solid investment I've ever done, but this is kind of a, always a learning process trading in Path of Exile. Might as well open the lock door while I'm here, and uh, we can later join a Dominus party if we wanted to do this through with the party. Maybe I sh actually should. I don't know, I've been enjoying soloing these bosses, and I also like giving the solo run to, uh, through with you guys. But maybe what I can actually do is run through with a party, and then later do a solo analysis, like what I did with the last file kill. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed that sort of breakdown of the actual fight. And uh, I think I'll also enjoy that as well. The uh, Dominus fight is one I'm still trying to sort of perfect how to evade all of the different attacks and things like that. So uh, taking a bit of time to focus on that and practice and even analyze my own play uh, can certainly be beneficial. Alright, I found the entrance to the hedge maze finally. I'm pretty sure it's always between the library... Let's actually go back to show this off. Pretty sure it's always between the library uh, zone, which is always up in this direction, and the... Uh, the actual heading up to Dominus Zone, which is always in that direction. So I think it's pretty much always here, and you're kind of heading through sort of hedge maze to even get there. So I'm pretty sure that's pretty uh, pretty much a guaranteed spawn there. All right, there's the plum. We'll just snag that and get out of here. I don't really feel like fighting in here too much. Whoa! Did we die in Portal? Or did... <laughs> what? <laughs> I like my bo my dead body flopped through the portal and ended up back in town. What on earth happened there? <laughs> this is not where you end up standing if you uh, if you die. You don't end up standing right below your portal. Uh, <laughs> I well I definitely died. <laughs> All right, reap. <laughs> Good thing we're doing this series in domination, so I can uh, still continue with it. That was the reason for choosing domination. Also because I wanted to try out the new, cool new shrines, but uh. That was pretty hilarious death there. Obviously don't do stupid stuff like that. Just uh, play it safe, play it safe. Anyway, so uh, we should be able to take this to uh, Fairgraves now. Which, uh, where are we? Docks. I believe we've already taken the other thing to him. We made sure to grab that when we were going and grabbing the last of Victoria's bust. So let's see what reward we get here. Just kill these guys so they don't bother me while I'm talking. Rudely interrupting my conversations. So this has been a bit of a, uh, <laughs> a bit of an all over the place episode here. We've actually okay. We've got no support gems from this one. We've got a mixture of rare items and uh, flasks. Now uh, these flasks are all kind of really supplementary sort of ones. Not nothing too useful. Diamond rings not too useful for us. Moonstone rings not too useful for us. But onyx amulet does have good potential, and our current amulet is not great. So let's go for the onyx amulet. And uh, also, there's a skeleton attacking me here. But uh, leveling these guys up, this uh, gem scaling pretty nicely as it levels up extra. Uh, it's a more multiplier as well, which basically multiplies at the moment all of my damage from this attack by 1.31. So it uh, scales very, very nicely. All my physical damage, obviously. And that amulet is rubbish. So that was a whole lot of effort for nothing, but uh, that's, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So let's actually take stock of our character for a moment here. Our resists are not capped, and I would like to go into the Dominus fight with capped resists. Now we did do a fair bit of piety farming. We could do a bit more certainly, and uh, our gear honestly could be could be done could be a little bit better. The amulet could certainly be a little bit better. This could be a lot better. The uh, boots could be a lot better. There's no life at all on those boots, and uh, the resists are mediocre. Uh, the the belt could be a lot better as well. It's pretty average. It's just got resists and nothing else. Gloves are nice. Uh, the chest is, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> the chest, the chest. The uh, I have been thinking about this other chest we bought, by the way. And uh, we got this for 4 chaos. so I'm actually not upset about this because I could definitely resell that for more than that. That guy who was selling it for four houses, probably underpricing that by quite a bit based on everything else I've seen so far. So uh, not too bad, not too bad. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we can do a little bit better here. How was this belt? We got rid of this belt. It had no resists on it. Okay, so I think what's going to have to happen then is I'm going to have to do some more piety runs. Let's do some more piety runs. Alrighty, and here's the uh, piety kill. Come on, drops. Oh, what did we get? Ah, oh, belt, stutter belt. Yeah. Oh, we do need chromatic orbs. 
However, I've uh, on my let's I did these items and that's then let's have a think. Whoa, actually, 80 life and uh, 17 fire resist. That's actually that's actually going to be an upgrade for sure. Sick. Yes, we've got a belt upgrade in an unlikely place. But uh, those are pretty average otherwise, and that belt I'm not even going to keep, it's pretty, it's super average. So, let's head back to town. On my piety run, my Lunaris run, I actually had a bit of time to think, and I think getting a 5 link at this point for my character was a mistake. Yes, it was a mistake. The reason I think this is my character's... I don't feel like my character's quite ready for it yet. I uh, overvalued the 5 link, and in sort of haste... Uh, probably also because I, like, I'm recording and kind of give myself a bit of a time limit for these episodes. I ended up kind of rushing into getting a 5 link that my, that my character wasn't ready for, and I don't think I really needed that much. I was doing pretty well with the 4 link setup. We were had more single target DPS with that setup, so we can go back to Frenzy, uh, faster attacks, get rid of faster projectiles, get out of here, and we can go... Uh, we, we had Life Leech, I thought. Added Fire and where's our life leech gem? There it is. So we've got that set up going on. We can go back to, uh, on our on our multi-target now, we can go back to LMP, we can go lightning arrow, and we can go, uh, I'm thinking, physical projectile attack damage. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this, seeing how, well, how affected the leech is with that now. Now we're going to lose the pierce, uh, which gives a little bit of AOE, but it's not it's not it's not super big deal And we're getting pierced from projectile weakness as well if, if you can see here we've got uh, Projectiles have an additional 52% chance to pierce cursed enemies So when enemies are cursed when we want that extra AOE we project our weakness them And uh, that's a good habit to get into anyway because they're gonna take more damage as well And uh, they're gonna get knocked back and all that good jazz and that's uh, on you know Equivalent of a faster projectiles essentially so I think I'm pretty happy with that setup now And I think I will stick with that. So the lesson to learn from this is you guys got a, a bit of insight into doing some trading and things like that. Uh, we managed to get our sport gems and I showed you how to go about trading, but I don't recommend rushing into a five link. So use this as a lesson to learn for yourself to not rush into the five link. Don't overvalue that and don't sacrifice too much to get it. We can get a five link when we're ready for it. It's probably going to be sometime in Merciless, maybe Act 2 Merciless, something like that, when the rest of our gear is more sorted, our resists are more capped, and we're doing much better all around. And uh, we're looking in better shape now. So before I can do Dominus, though, I do need to get my resistances sorted out. So that's going to involve a little bit of tinkering. It's going to involve trying to get some better jewelry. Uh, especially we could. This is terrible. This ring here. If we can get something better than this, I'd be very. Uh, it should be pretty easy to get something better than this. To be to be honest. So uh, I think it's going to involve some more Dominus runs. Just uh, we've had to spend a fair bit of time farming here, which is uh, a bit unfortunate because I try not to farm too much in Cruel usually. But uh, if you if you know you're trying to you're trying to kind of solo it, you want to make sure that all that stuff is sorted out. And uh, although we did have that little mishap with the portal earlier, we do want to keep this going. So uh, I think I'm going to do some more piety farming, and uh, uh, I think I'll do a, a few more runs tonight. And here we go, with another piety kill. As you can see, with Amy this time around, full worm scale, conjure boots, and the Baroque shield. Uh, the full worm skill, nah, no good. None of these are probably any good. Uh, the shield's actually, nah, ooh, it's a pretty nice resist shield with high armor as well. Shame there's no life on that, otherwise it'd be a pretty nice shield. <laughs> you like ran straight into his slam. Run away! Oh, he whacked me. Well, I can. I know I can tank a uh, coal smash now. I think I'd already dusted that. Ah, oh, we can take him. Let's just finish him. <laughs> good tanking there. Oh, good tanking. Good effort. I got a scroll of wisdom. Hurrah! Oh, and well, it's the uh, exit to Lenara's one anyway. Alrighty, last run. Let's see if Piety drops anything good for us. Wouldn't mind some more jewelry upgrades or a nice quiver or something like that. Let's not die to our Piety Ice Form though. Right at the end of the episode, we don't want to die to Piety Ice Form. Whoa, a few rares. What do we got? Oh, some gloves, Regicide Mars too. Oh, they're all for me. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Consola consolation prizes. How's that? Ah, oh, those gloves are... Wow, 1 to 2 physical damage, 13 life. 
What rubbish gloves. <laughs> Those are terrible. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure these are all these are all terrible. Oh well, oh well, we got a barrage skill gem. <laughs> Consolation prizes. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A bit of a interesting episode. It certainly happened. It certainly happened. You got to uh, see how to do some poe.xyz.is trading and stuff. But uh, mostly, hopefully, you learned from my mistakes. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.